Jam is on this weekend at the Rogers Center. Mm -hmm. My son loves this event. Okay, it's the perfect sports and entertainment event, mixing racing and showmanship into one action-packed show. Today's audience will all get tickets to go. <laughs> Have fun. We're going to drive those cars pack as well, along with VIP tickets to Monster Jam. And a couple more questions. We're, we're going to try and get to as many as we can. We're going to okay. start, Kimberly, with uh, Diane who wants to ask you a question. Hi, Diane. Hi. Hi, Kimberly. Hi. <clears throat> I would just like to know, I have the, a wall between my kitchen and dining room, and I was advised by a so-called designer who is saying that oh. uh, I sh we should remove it Ouch. <laughs> and have an, 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 an open concept, which is very popular these days. My husband wants to take the wall down. I prefer to have a separate dining room, so I was just wondering, um, and it already opens up into the, the family room, so I was wondering if we should take it down or keep it up. <laughs> she doesn't like the designer's advice. Yeah. <laughs> she, well, did, you, did, you, did you get I, that? You know, I think what I'm hearing is that she might not be someone who's a professional designer, which means oh, you, you're working with clients, it. you're working with budgets. There, there are lots of people who dabble in the profession. It makes okay. it hard on those of us who actually do it for a living. So I'm hoping that that's the scenario. But the space <laughs> is quite lovely. And here's the breakfast room right off the kitchen. You can see that there is the dining room that peeks through uh, on the one side and the living room on the other side there. And down here, you can see a little bit more how that adjoins the dining room. So the question is, do you get rid of that wall? Um, in my experience, people who live in an open concept often want to go back to having a dedicated dining room, and those who have a dedicated dining room want to try out the open concept. Mm -hmm. But in this scenario, um, this is where Diane's kitchen is. If you eliminated that breakfast area, instead did a nice island, you can see here this dotted line represents the wall between the dining room and the kitchen. So you can imagine that you can leave it there. It doesn't really impact what's happening in those two spaces, or you can remove it. So the question becomes, is she right or is he right? Yeah. Right? Um, and we all know how that's going to work out. She's right. She's right. <laughs> He's going to love having a dedicated dining room. But the advantage of removing it is now your kitchen and your dining room becomes one big entertaining space. That's my right. philosophy so, for sure. Yeah, so you if know. you like to entertain, remove the wall. I think that's a good, and you, you yeah. were just talking about that with Alyssa. You know, it's tricky because I get where you're coming from. You know, it is the kitchen to dining room, and sometimes there's a mess in that space, and you want to be able to close it off and not have your guests see that mess. But if you're entertaining, and maybe it's just family, a little bit more casual, what we talked about is making making that room more casual, so rather than making a formal a dining room. Dining room more yeah. casual, because yeah. right now it's pretty formal. And so make it more cash and be able to, you know, just have everybody relax and, and hang out with you while you're cooking. This I think is, that's a... This right. is how she could present it to the mister. Okay. If the wall comes down, it means a brand new dining room set. <laughs> right. Because oh, you've got to look at it every genius. day. We're good to go, kitchen, honey. Right? Whatever, whatever there you, you go. Yeah. We should always do the part two of these he said, she said <laughs> things and like have a camera follow her home <laughs> and see what she's going to tell the mister what the advice was. And the mister says some so-called designer <laughs> <laughs> told her. <laughs> It is an interesting scenario. You can go both ways. Um, I know a lot of people are going for that open concept because if you've got a ton of people uh, you, and you're entertaining, you want to be able to see your yeah. guests. You yeah. don't want to be cut off from it. But anyways, good advice either way, ladies. Thank you yeah, so much.